accept that. I am going to call President Etchen and tell him most of his ministers are working against him. They are not going. I don't even know who was who, who was recommending those people for him. I didn't want to talk because I love HS so much. I believe in his vision. Even up to today, if you wake me up from sleep and ask me, is this guy going to do this job? I say yes, 100%, 110%. But there are many people that have, he has employed that are criminals. Dangerous criminals. Those people that fought. Those people that can... Be, you, you have relaxed now, eh? You are not driving land cruisers. Eh? You are not being guided. You are living in the big houses. You have forgotten where you are coming from. Six years, six, six times contesting election and losing. Is it what you can go in and feel like you have made it? Eddie Galungu did a lot of job in Zambia. Where is he today? Eh? Eddie Galungu was so powerful. His cadres were powerful. He never believed that he was going to lose the election. Where is he today? It's the same character. That is what most UPND cadres, most UPND officials are doing today. Many of them have grown wings. President, I know that you listen to me. I know that you listen to me. You know that I love you and I will never fight you. I swore upon Godfather today. I will never fight you. I have never betrayed you and I will never betray you. But I want you to please call on your ministers. Majority of them are criminals already. They are, they are making deals already with the Chinese. They are making deals with PF cadres. Those people that were afraid of going to jail, if you see them boasting on the road today, you understand that something has gone wrong behind if a, a if a secretary secretary of a party will come out publicly and say if this guy wins election we are going to jail you knew what they were doing but look at the statement has changed from nowhere they have pride because many of them have made deal with your ministers and i can assure you that we are going to fight where even if it's your daughter or your son that you appointed as a minister and they will discover that he's corrupt we respect you so much, but we are going to bring that person down. I swear upon Godfather. We are going to bring that person down. We love you. We don't want what happened at Galungu to happen to you. Your ministers are already corrupt. They are working with PF. They are working with criminals. And they are not ready to change. The people that fought, the people, His Excellency, the people that fought for you have been neglected. Where is Mukuka? Eh? Mukuka in Lapula. Where is he? What has he, what has he benefited from, from the leadership? From the, all the talk that he even went to prison. For a young man to have the audacity to go and campaign at State House when Eddie Galungu was, was the president. Eh? Asking him to stop corruption. For him to have that audacity. Doesn't that guy supposed to be rewarded? Nothing has been done for him. Ministers are not picking up his cause. What are you talking about? Eh? I don't want problem. It's too early. Daddy, His Excellency, tell your ministers to be wise. Tell them to be wise. Please. They are already boasting. Your ministers are already boasting. Their wings have grown like, like never before. You as a president, you are a very humble person. I was talking about it the other day. You are, you are still down to earth. You are still, you being the president, the number one citizen, the baba, the you, 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 are, you, are, you are humble. But some of these idiots you employed, look at them. Please tell them to go back to the people. They are already losing touch with the people. I swear. They are losing touch with the people because they have changed their numbers. You can't get them on phone again. Even if you get them on phone, they will not give you the, the, the way they will answer you. Eh? Look at Alice. His Excellency. Being 
in a pageant like Miss, Miss This, Mrs. This, Mr. This, and that, so long as it has gone international. It's a thing that's supposed to bring joy to the country, Zambia. At least, if not for anything, for the sacrifice that lady made. That lady sacrificed a lot for you. He sacrificed for the party when everyone else was benefiting. All the slave queens in Zambia. Somebody.